from I know that you will change your mind. No, okay. I will talk to you if you can. No, I think about it. It's not difficult to get this for myself, so no problem. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, don't make some mistake. Tell them what she wants to tell them. Oh, don't worry, I'll call me a person. I will tell them anything they want to hear. Kakon has got that. No, they never scatter here. Why are you reacting? To what? I didn't. Me, I will put that in the because I've paddled that they could before. I told them I have, but I will never have a comparison to do that. I'm going to wait for a second there, but I'm going to ask you to look at the in Big Brother's house today. I mean, guys, all morning, it's been one form of conspiracy or the other. As a matter of fact, the house is currently divided between two factions, those that want the pardon me for Ile Baye and those who do not want that pardon, that immunity for Ile Baye. I mean, guys, what a way to start a new week with the housemates. And today is supposed to be the start of, you know, of the sixth week of the season, like officially the start of the sixth week of the season. And it's beginning with so much tension, conspiracy, conniving. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, guys. It is it's it's insane. It's insane. It's mind blowing. And I'm going to tell you all about it on this particular video. So please make sure you watch to the end. Do not skip out on any part because you know what today stands for. Today is the day for all the immunity challenges in the house. In fact, for the entire week. Today determines the selected few housemates that will have the chance to be safe from nominations for possible eviction this week. Yes, and I am referring to challenges um, such as the Head of House Challenge, um, the Black Envelope Challenge, and the Pardon Me Please process. And guys, we are still yet to know if Big Brother will decide to change his mind as to reverting back to the old nomination process. We're still yet to find out. I mean, last week we got some information that Big Brother was going back to the old nomination process, but then he decided to spice things up by bringing back the pardon me please process again. So tonight, we don't even know what's gonna happen. Yes, but already these housemates are taking the bull by the horns to campaign, to lobby for votes. Yes, to pardon Ilibai. And guys, it's not even funny at all. So let's just get into this video. I'm going to spill all of that juicy tea to all of you. And before we get into it, official welcome to every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel, to watching this video. Again, my name is Gloria Elijah. This is Frankly Speaking with Gloria Elijah, and I am the girl with the tea. For those of you that are yet to become a part of this community, please do not hesitate to do exactly what you see on your screen. Don't forget to like this video and feel free to share. Now, quickly, let's proceed with the details of this conversation. Today's lobbying started courtesy of Doi and Angel. Yes. Now, if you all recall how it went down, um, I think two weeks ago, yes, when Doi had um, immunity, it was meant to be Ilebaye. Yes, but then Doi had lobbied it for herself because according to her, um, she had come close to winning the head of house games, but she had allowed Mercy to have a flawless victory. And so she felt like she deserved to get immunity for the week. And according to their agreement, uh, Mercy had agreed and Angel had agreed as well, and they had given her the immunity. Now, if you all recall still, that same week, Venita for the second time this season wanted Angel to lobby for her to get the pardon but Angel had gone ahead to speak with people and they had refused vehemently to even consider Adekunle for, for immunity for a pardon because according to them why is she not lobbying for herself why is she not even lobbying for a man why do they have to do the dirty work for her and so we all know that it wasn't really Angel's fault at all yes so Doi had gotten immunity that week and ever since Venita has been at loggerheads with Angel. They've not been on speaking terms, even though they are friends. They have, guys, I mean, it's just been, it's just been a separation entirely in the house. As the reason that last week, when Angel was meant to get the pardon, Benita had agreed to flow into Cross's camp to ensure that Angel did not get the immunity. And so there was a tie last week between Angel and Cross, meaning that Benita is still upset, she's still offended by the fact that Adekunle did not get the immunity because she believes that Angel was the one that gave it to Doin by herself. 
which does not really make sense guys if you think about it as of today for this week Joini is deciding to make things right for Ilebai yes I feel like she's still being eaten up by the guilt of you know having taken the the immunity that was meant for Ilebai that week yes and guys there could be other reasons which I will share with all of you on this video but don't worry we're going to talk about that one shortly yes so doing all in a beat to make things right for Ilebai without Ilebai knowing of course she had initiated the lobbying process yes and Angel had bought into it and then they had been able to convince Alex they had been able to convince um what's her, um, his name now ek but ek is kind of playing two sides because according to him um he would want to give Ilibaye the pardon because he wants to be in the good books of the public then when he goes back to speak with adekunle and vanita he would bring down fire and brimstone and give that the impression that he's not going along with their choice yes that is a man of his own and he would want to do exactly what his mind tells him to do now they were also able to convince mercy mercy seeing that she has nobody in her corner there's no longer fraud you know to help her rally around with the pepper them gang um housemates to get a pardon she decided to give her vote to Ilebai. just like a chain reaction mercy was able to convince lucy although lucy's response did not seem quite convincing to me yes because guys she did not even allow mercy to waste time in preaching too much about the need for her to pardon Ilebai. she had just instantly agreed they had also spoken with um, Omashola and guys I can't really tell if Omashola actually agreed 100% but he kind of gave off the impression that he was going to consider it. Doi had also spoken with Soma. Now Soma was sort of double-minded yes remember um, by virtue of the fact that Venita had been there for Soma when he had his um, panic attacks Soma is sort of loyal to Venita. Now he is also playing two sides the same way he did last time. So he had told doing that he was going to think about it that kimopra already came to speak with him that um his choice was between um kimopra and um Ilebae. and guys when kimopra had spoken with um soma earlier um he had told kimopra that his vote would actually go for angel so if angel comes to speak with him then he would actually go with what angel wants yes so um kimopra should just wait it out and he would weigh his options and he would let her know what he decides before the pardon me please process begins in the evening and guys doi had decided to have that conversation with suma because at the moment suma and angel are not really on talking terms yes there's a lot going on between those two people because of that Doi had decided to go speak with Soma by herself now Soma had assured her that he would think about it yeah that he would let her know his decision before the end of the evening now Mercy had moved on to Venita to go plead with Venita on Ilebae's behalf because guys they are actually considering two things one is the immunity for Ilebae and the other is um, for Ilebae to be selected as a BFF if any of them emerges the head of house today now Venita is completely indifferent in fact she completely refused she said why that message should give her one good reason you know why she should oblige their request because in Levaye is not the only person that has been standing from week one that she has equally been standing Adekunle too you know sometimes has stood as well that she would rather give that part of me to someone else than to give it to Levaye now Mercy had actually told her that listen girl you do not have the numbers these people have the numbers they already have eight people on their side and there there are 18 of them in the house but then guys Venita was still adamant that she was not giving Ilibaye her pardon yes now Mercy also talked about Kimopra that, okay what about Kimopra that Kimopra is also trying to lobby on a low key to get immunity and <laughs> Venita was almost going crazy that no that why the hell would she even consider Kimopra for what that was the connection the whole conspiracy conversation the whole campaigning lobbying everything completely got to Venita she is really upset she's angry she's irritated in fact she's just irritated about everything and the way everybody is going about everything already mercy had been shouting this morning in the kitchen that oh if anybody does anyhow that she will give them shege she will show them pepe that part of me has never started people are already moving funny now Venita has so much you know venting to do but Adekunle was busy calming her down 
telling her not to react that she should just smile and watch what's happening and just allow them to do whatever they want to do because he strongly believes that just like last week the process is going to be against everybody that it's not going to favor them at the end of the day as a matter of fact he was going to start you know cooking up strategies and ways on how to sabotage their result that what he's going to do is he's going to put his ears to the ground and wait and see and learn who they now all generally decide to pardon at the end of the day. Now, what he's going to do after getting that knowledge, that information is, he's going to move around and tell all of them to charge that person, you know, some money point coins for that immunity. Yes, that the immunity must be for sale. Guys, Adekunle was just plotting and plotting. Benita was looking miserable. Ike was busy adding fire and brimstone after already having conversations with Alex in the garden about why he definitely will give Ilibaye his pardon because he wants to make up for the evil he met out on her two weeks ago. So guys, there's a lot happening in the house at the moment. But regardless of it all, here I am, you know, just wishing and hoping that Big Brother will scrap out the pardon me please process tonight and ask the whole house to revert back to the old nominations system because guys if biggie does that a lot of these housemates have scores to settle believe me when i say that people are going to be standing yes people are going to be standing now in as much as i want this on the flip side i still need the whole house to be up and standing you know for possible eviction this week because there are people that need to leave that house and we are hoping that by that mayor process you know by the pardon me please process that those people will definitely leave the house this week so guys i would love to hear your thoughts about all this drama that's been unfolding in the house today go ahead let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what do you think? Do you think that Ilebaye definitely deserves the immunity this week? Or do you think that Venita and Adekuli are overreacting? And of course, I forgot to mention that there's also Doing, who I said before is the spearheader of this movement. She literally went to Angel and pleaded with Angel, you know, not to let Ilebaye know that she is the one that is actually engineering all this lobbying. And guys, frankly speaking, frankly speaking, first impressions when doing, you know, made that appeal to Angel, I thought that it was kind of sweet, you know, um, even though she and Delibari are not on talking terms, she's still trying everything in her little power, you know, to ensure that Delibari was safe this week. But on the flip side, thinking about it logically, I kind of realized that doing once again has proven herself to be very, very smart. Now she's fully aware that one way or the other, the news is going to get to Ilebaye that she was the one lobbying for Ilebaye to get immunity this week. And in a way, that is going to bring them together to have that conversation that she has been hoping that they would have, right? Now, there is that one. The other one is, Doi has seen Ilebaye's strength. She knows that Ilebaye has been up and standing for, six, uh, for five weeks now and has not yet been evicted. And there's been news around the house that Ilebaye is a strong contender outside that Ilebaye trends on a daily basis on the outside so in my head i'm thinking that Dewey is now fully aware that she probably does not stand any chance of survival if she's up against Ilebaye in eviction yes and so instead of her to risk her chances of getting evicted while standing side by side with someone like Ilebaye she would rather have Ilebaye you know gain immunity so that probably Ilibaye's fans will vote for her safety for this week. Guys, what do you think about that? Just go ahead, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys on another video soon. Have an amazing day.